Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So this mind is the distracted dreamer. Mind's always guessing the future or dwelling in the past. It's just constantly distracted, this mind. It's always in a state of daydreaming, not really being here in this moment. Being here is where all of our power resides. And we're in the mind daydreaming as we go through life on autopilot. The mind's constantly distracted with the next shiny object. So we just got to learn to just relax to see where the mind is being distracted. But there's in a, there is a place where daydreaming is important. That's when you're really coming to the space of presence and you're doing a manifestation practice. So you want to get present and then you just daydream and you hold that vibration of feeling good, of seeing that future vision. But it's a skilled dreaming process or skilled daydreaming process. But most of the time, this mind is distracted, lost, confused, trying to figure things out. We just need to let all that go. But we make it so complicated because we're taught in school, you know, to, we're taught in school, we're reinforced, I guess is a better word, word and reinforced that we're individuals in school, that we're different, that we're separate, and all this division that's not so supporting and serving us. We just have to let all that go. And just being here, stepping away from the distracted dreamer to realize, yeah, mine, I know you want to be entertained with this, that, and the other thing. But we really got to learn to be here. Because the distracted mind will have you eating things that are not good for you, doing things that are not best for you. Because the mind just does what it's comfortable with. It's on autopilot keeping you comfortable, keeping you safe. And that's usually repeating the same day over and over and over again because it's comfortable, it's safe. The mind doesn't care if you're really suffering and pain, having a lot of drama, but it's familiar, so we keep it the same. The mind's just lost in the past or guessing the future, being a distracted dreamer. We just have to learn to be here. But why is it so hard to be here? It really is a challenge to be here. If everyone learned to be here, the world would be a different place. But no one's taking that time for themselves. They're ignoring their own self-care. They're not taking them time for themselves. And this may be difficult if you have a family and a lot of responsibilities. But even if you manage to get a minute to yourself here and there, that may be enough. A minute of getting present or maybe a minute being fully present with your kids could be a practice or being fully present with your job that can also be a practice because when you're taking care of the kids working a job you can still be in a distracted dreamer on autopilot as opposed to saying this is the task at hand what am i doing here and fully noticing your sensations what are you touching? Is it hard, soft? What are you hearing? If you're eating, what are you tasting? I'm really doing those mindfulness practices. So even though if you have a lot of responsibilities, you can full find time for that self-care of just learning to be present. Because when you learn to be present, life changes. That's when you're fully your strength, your power, you're no longer an autopilot. You're breaking that cycle. So is it a time to break that cycle, to be fully here in this moment, to let it all go? Because it's not serving you. And we let it go by learning to be here. Most people think you can let go in a snap like that. Sometimes you can, most of the time you cannot. Especially if you're going through an illness, pain, grief. You just can't snap out of it. You have to learn to get yourself out of that mind and into this moment of feeling your feet on the ground, to hearing the sounds around you, to really be engaged with your senses. But yet you aren't your senses. You're observing or witnessing your senses. You are that consciousness, that observer. But you are the ultimate creator of this life. 
sometimes they talk about that life being a simulation, that none of this is real. And you can see that, you know, from a point of consciousness, it's all consciousness. Yet we have this illusion of separation. But if I take this mouse, for example, I take a quantum microscope and keep going down and down and down, I won't see the mouse anymore. I'll see empty space because it's mostly empty space. All this matter that we see is really empty space. I heard someone say, I think it was like you take an atom and the electron from the atom, it was like a decent size atom and it'd be like three football fields away would be an electron from the atom. So it's more empty space on just the massive scale that it's mostly empty space that we give meaning to that everything you know is just a vibration it's energy because nothing really appears solid to me anymore everything has a vibration and i talked about this before that everything has a little bit of a shimmer if you will i think pablo picasso also sold the world as way saw the world that way as well as a shimmer nothing really solid everything sort of has like an aura to it because it's all energy and our thoughts are just energy. But we just be aware how the mind gets distracted, distracted into the daydreams. And daydreaming is fine if you're fully here in this moment, but you're imagining your ideal future life, your future self, if you will. But it's really about learning to be here first, to step in your power. But first you have to accept that I can change my situation. You have to have the belief that I can change things. If you don't have the belief that you can, you can, you have that power to change, then nothing will change. For me, I had that power that I wanted inner peace. That was the change I was seeking. I was so stressed out, and overwhelmed with life. I just wanted inner peace had no concept of healing because I wanted inner peace. And I knew meditation was my vehicle to get there. But I never had a formal meditation teacher on how to sit, how to breathe, how to hold your hands. No, I just sat for five minutes a day learning to be present. There goes that mind again. Where are my feet? Where are my hands? What do I hear? What am I listening to? Up oh, there goes that mind again, where are my feet? There goes that mind again, where are my feet? If you did this as a parent, really learn to be fully here in this moment, time slows down because you're not in that distracted dreamer. And they've done studies on this showing that if you're present, you experience the present moment three times longer. So when you're being distracted, time just seems to you don't seem to have enough time that seems to be escaping you constantly. When you slow down, you learn to be here. Then things just open up. You really dive into this place where you can thrive. Because you're not so distracted on the unimportant things. And the distracted dreamer is really focused on the unimportant things. It wants to be distracted from this moment. It might be too painful, too difficult. Especially if you're sick and pain. This moment can be very difficult, but you want to be here so you can move through that to see if there's anything to learn and to keep moving forward. All right. I think that's my little chatter for today. I will talk to you soon. Take good care of yourself.